Hey guys, Abs here. In this video, I'm going to be making notes about the recent Google Keyword Planner changes and how we can get around those changes to bring back the Google Keyword Planner to how it once was. So let me just show you exactly what I mean by the current changes and then let me take you through the process that's needed by ourselves in order to get our Keyword Planner back to how it used to be. So anyway, I'm going to type in the word SEO and I'm going to click on um, get search volume. And what Google does now, it actually gives you a date range uh, sorry it gives you um, a range um, of searches here so you got 100,000 to 1 million before it used to give you a precise figure so it used to give you something like 666,000 or 66,000 or something like that now it's actually giving you a range but one thing we need to keep in mind about this keyword guys is that this range here actually gives us the figure for um, the actual um, for related terms and for combined terms as well and for plurals and singulars so let me show you exactly what I mean so we've got the keyword SEO we've got search engine optimization okay and we've got search engine optimization in the UK um, type of way um, spelling um, and before what Google would do is actually give you singular or give you figures for each one of these okay so i'm going to click on get search volume and what you'll notice is google still only gives us the one keyword but it says down here some keywords you entered and their close variants have been grouped into one row okay so it doesn't give us any singulars and plurals either let me just give you an example of that as well um so i'll do something like web design and i'll do something like web designs um let's do another one as well let's do plumber and let's do plumbers <clears throat> and what you'll notice is we'll only get two here okay so we've got web design and plumber um, because plurals and singulars are also combined now as well so anyway let me get out of here we don't like this here guys let me just show you something else as well because um, this is the file that i'm going to be using in a moment um, to show you how we can get our search volume back okay i'm going to get search volume <clears throat> and what you can see is all of these are now ranges so Google is now giving us ranges as opposed to actual figures so let me get out of my Google Keyword Planner or my browser let me open up a new browser um, I'll go over to this one here um, this is my actual Firefox profile I've already got a Gmail account um, created for this and it's a fully verified Gmail account um, and I don't have a Google keyword I don't have a Google AdWords account for this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go ahead and create a manager account now to do this you go over to google.com forward slash AdWords forward slash manager hyphen accounts okay and click on sign up for free account it's very important that you don't already have an um, a Google keyword planner account associated with your email address if you do then you will have to use a different email but I've already got I've got one here that hasn't got an account associated with it so I'm gonna leave everything as is my manager account is I'm going to call my manager account okay and over here where it says how will you primarily use this AdWords manager account I'm going to click to manage other people's accounts I'm going to leave everything exactly the same I'm going to say yes I agree to the terms and services and agree to the rules and whatever okay and let's just wait a few moments guys because I'm actually working behind a proxy on here as well um, so it's going to take a little bit of time okay what we need to do now once the account has been opened okay I need to create a new user inside of this account so I'm gonna click on account I'm gonna click on new AdWords Express account okay I'll just click on new AdWords account sorry and I'm gonna type this in um, um, customer one okay I'm just remember customer one is used for um, do all your research and I'm gonna click on create account that's all you have to do guys now you go over to customer one you click on the customer one um, and then you go over to tools okay and then you go over to keyword planner and the keyword planner will open what we can do is we can actually copy all these keywords again um, and we can enter them here I'll click on get search volume and what you'll notice now guys is that we don't have the ranges we actually have the precise figures down here um, so this is exactly how you can get yourself back over to the Google Keyword Planner and get your precise figures now I don't know if it's gonna actually combine um, I think it is still gonna combine all these so I think this was actually an update some time ago but let's have a look anyway 
Okay, it's still combined. I mean, it says some of your keywords are close variants, blah, 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 blah. But what it doesn't say now, it doesn't say that you need to have an active campaign to work with this. So um, yes, this is how that works. Let's just have a quick look at the plurals and singular. Let's do plumber and plumbers. So I'm sure this was an update prior to the actual date range update. Okay, yeah, so it's exactly the same. Um, it's not gonna give you singular and plurals or search terms that are um, very, very um, close together. So anyway, guys, this is exactly how you do it. Um, it's very important that you create yourself a Google AdWords manager account, um, and then you work with the customer inside of it to actually get the date ranges. Um, but what you'll notice, you can do this over and over again, um, and it'll just give you keywords, and it'll just give you the date ranges. Um, sorry, it'll just give you the um, actual precise figures for us, which is absolutely brilliant. So this is how you can get your Google Keyword Planner to work in exactly the same way as it was working before they updated it with the average monthly search volume date ranges. Thank you very much and I really hope you enjoy working with the new planner or I hope you enjoy having the figures come back.